Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Holiday Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and last time we spent roughly six hours making this very cold box to drop all of our excess animals into so that we could cool them down and make some very, very chilled meat. Six hours! So I thought this time we might take a slightly easier route and just try and tap our way down into the power down here. Last time we discovered that there was not enough power to keep this little rad bolt generator turning over. This is very very, very important into getting all of the materials from these uh, refined metal volcanoes out to the rest of my colonies all out there in the wilds of space. So to try and keep that running over, I am going to basically just make myself a little bit of a geothermal plant down here if we uh, dig our way thuswards. I do have to be careful about this door. It's 100 degrees hot and that is very hot. There are no builders here, so we're just going to get everybody very, very invested in coming down here as fast as as possible. As with any project, our first and biggest job is of course just trying to get this whole area cleared out. As most of the heat is coming through this obsidian, I think what I'm going to do is have a door sandwiched between some metal tiles. Here are the metal tiles. You know what, I'm going to make them out of cobalt because that's what we've got right here. Uh, and then I'm going to open and close this door according to the temperature of the steam that we have on this side. So if I get some automation, we have a thermo sensor right here and the thermo sensor connects directly up to the door. If this is under a certain temperature, the door will close, creating a thermal uh, conduit, let's say a thermal conduit to bring all of the temperature into a whole bunch of water that I'm going to have over here. The water, of course, very much will just be flashed into steam, which we will then use the power of two steam turbines. I'm hoping two will be enough to, uh, to then turn all of that into power. And power is what we're after here. We, ju we just need enough power. Let's press F2. Here is the power spline. So as long as we can keep the power running down and across into these and just being continuous, I think, I think we should actually be able to improve the lives of our duplicates over here. We have got an awful lot of slime and polluted oxygen venting into the base. But you know what? This, this, this base can do it. Look at, look at all these slicks. I think, I think we can deal with it. As well as building this, I also have two other things that I wish to look for today, and they are both duplicates. I would like a rocket um, uh, operator that needs to be two in the one, which it doesn't look like we have here. Also, a farmer supplier so farm farmer something good unfortunately none of these meet my expectations so we've got 5,000 um, 5,000 calories to be able to print it out here and I think all of my places are actually pretty well self-sufficient on the floor so we'll, we'll drop it off at Irigal here and wait to see for the next package to see whether we get the duplicates that we want Oh, I mean, this guy... Okay, that, that's interesting. That's interesting. The fact that the pips can climb has totally destroyed my little filter system here. I wonder if that's a thing we can fix. I, you know what? This is a thing I can fix, and I need to do it with the manual airlock. Let's deconstruct this. Uh, the, what we're going to do here... So, what ha should happen here is a fully grown adult will wander their way into this little gap here. This one sensor will pick up the fact that we've got a, a, a critter in there. The door will open, these doors will close, and that will push the adults down below. Unfortunately, I didn't think about these, these little cat creatures that we've got here they can climb everywhere go anywhere do whatever they want so i think i'm going to have to connect this input here to this door but this door is not the right right type so we, we need to get that happening like now Okay, this is now a one-way door. It's a shame I didn't get to show. When this uh, poke shell wandered in there, all three of these closed. Okay, that, that's good. We're now just waiting for this poke shell to grow up. And it's it's a brand new one, so that's going to take five cycles. Anyway, we're not we're not here for this. Back to Blagolia. How are things going down here? We're, I mean, we're digging. We're digging without alarms. That's very, very good. The next problem that I think we're going to have is how to get next to this 1,500 degree materials without melting our duplicates. Well, I, I can't really say the word melt. Uh, without destroying our duplicates. They uh, start taking damage about 40 degrees. When this figure over here at 37 gets up to 40 degrees, they start taking damage. 1500 degrees is much higher than 40. Uh, unfortunately, it's much lower than the 9000 degrees we would need to melt them. <laughs> I, one day I would like to melt a duplicate. I don't. I don't even know if we have the materials that can go that hot, but I would really like to. 
maybe superheat some magma inside a metal refinery like we, we dump heat from the metal refinery into a liquid so if the liquid we use is already hot can we get the, the, the liquid even hotter it's a question it's a question I would like to solve at some point just like this polluted water I would like to solve that at some point as well it keeps off gassing into my natural gas that's not what we want I was kind of hoping there was a uh, drop off point let's let's use this one we can drop the polluted water in here and our gulp fish will that's that's not a gulp fish let's attack that guy uh, our gulp fish will clean this area up for us thankfully all the polluted water gets turned into uh, as you can see it happening here this gulp fish just at the uh, the polluted water and turned it into regular water beautiful but whilst we sit back and watch the duplicants dig towards a scorching hot area, I would like to tell you about the most scorching hot people I know. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. These are the names of the people that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can move on as comfortably into the future as possible. And I've got to say, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, we're into the very dangerous portion of this build now. I've recently realized that this asteroid does not have an exosuit forge on it. So we, we don't really have any way of protecting ourselves from the ridiculous heat. Now, I could literally just throw one up anywhere around here and build one. But I think, hey, no, let, let's let's just try and get in there and uh, like make, make this happen as quick as possible. And uh, maybe my, du my duplicate won't die. That, that, that's my that's my thought process. That is, that is literally the sum total of my plans there. So uh, yeah, may, maybe my duplicate won't die. Uh, Swan Levitt doing very well. I'm all about this double layer of water down here. It has completely pushed out any of the carbon dioxide uh, that could have been down here. Of course, we're in at the end of the day. Oh, that's that's very unfortunate let's actually turn these off and then in the morning we will pick this back up because i don't i don't want them going to sleep when the obsidian just gets exposed or anything silly like that Okay, new morning. People are running around. I think this calls for some uh, high priority actions here. L if we could just get this all put in place and then we just need two more tiles, two cobalt tiles put in there. I uh, took away the build order. Oh, poor Paku, don't don't get involved here this this is not this is not what you want to do. I want you at least over here, but I I, I will seal you in here if need be. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we, we need to get these done as quick as possible. All right, thanks. I was kind of hoping because it was a too wide uh, tunnel here that maybe we could get more than one duplicate involved. Stay stay over that way, stay over that way. Uh, but unfortunately, Swan Leather is literally the only one that has the power to dig through the Abyssalite. Hopefully someone else is coming down yet, yeah, Goddard, to uh, put in the tungsten wires here. Tungsten, of course, chosen for its particularly high melting point, as we will be exposing it to quite high temperatures. Uh, the liquid over here, not, keeping keeping good at 37 degrees. I don't think it's going to be quite so calm when everything gets dug out here and the obsidian is exposed. Yeah, I I really do hope that everybody else can could like deliver the wolframite and things like that because this this steam's going to start getting very hot very quickly so far the amount of water has been able to hold back how much steam is here and there seems to be maybe some sort of like Leiden frost effect undergo where any water that does come in is instantly pushed back by the steam that is made okay here goes Gala to put that in place beautiful beautiful and then actually we want to then put these two tiles down in fact let's uh, let's also put those as high priority and then maybe two other duplicates can come along to do this one lever currently on both okay that, that that's good that's good let's let's speed this up just a little bit more okay so so far so good this door is going to get very hot very quickly though uh it's pulling a lot of the temperature away from the obsidian but not that much. I'm, I'm, I, 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 well, I am starting to worry that maybe the obsidian was the bad choice. Maybe I should have gone straight up against the magma. But I felt like this was slightly more manageable than having my duplicates covered in flowy liquid magma. Okay, second uh, tile in place. That's great. I'm just going to open the door for now and we, we will just keep that 
insulated. This obsidian should hopefully now get very hot. The tiles are going to just uh, out output all their temperature over this way. Yeah, this, this should be great. This should be great. Maybe we want to put the thermosensor one lower down because I now need to put a whole bunch of liquid vents. Yeah. Oh well, pipe, pipe is cheap. Pipe is cheap. Okay, I'm very worried about the state of the atmosphere here with everyone digging out tiles underneath. I just wanted to get the floor in place. Hopefully carbon dioxide will be kept back. That that would be very good if that's the case. Oh, that, that looks scary for a moment there. We've actually got ourselves a winning duplicate here. I have been after an operator for reversing for a little while now. We're going to bring forth Lord Kelvin. Uh, William Thompson, I believe his actual name was. The uh, Lord Kelvin is just the title. Uh, this guy is going to be here to do uh, mostly the operating. Let's turn that up. But also a little bit of ranching. That's his jobs here. And if we go and have a look at the skills, you can see that these are the things he likes to do. There's an operator love and there is the ranching love uh, I, I guess I'm just gonna go straight with that because operating is the highest priority for him and then we can actually send Franklin back to Pyaxlin and I, I think given the fact that either Pyax uh, either Franklin or Curie could could be missing from Pyaxlin for so long means I might try and move them over to Blagolia I think yeah I think that's definitely what we're going to do but the first thing we need to do for that is to send Franklin home is she going to just arrive somewhere out of nowhere or do we yeah she's all the way down here of course she was the only one doing any of the operating errands over here this is why we needed lord kelvin to turn up and indeed become part of the crew over here at reversalin so franklin has returned home to do a bunch of work she turns handles she makes things happen she presses buttons she is an operator but my girl curie where is she over here let this follow cam uh she is primarily a builder who happens to do a bit of operating on the side also happens to be a rocket pilot we have a rocket just up here. It's currently set up for uh, colonization. Oh, Plank's return. Uh, I also want to replace Plank. We, we need to get Plank out of this rocket. Uh, and I want to replace him with a generic uh, duplicate that has um, rocketry skills. I might take the Trailblazer module away. I don't, I don't see why we need to have it here. Because I am going to send uh, Curie across to Blagolia where we've got a whole bunch of work going and like max stress for Swan Levitt because of course this is a stressful situation down here dunking themselves in water all the time and it's not the nicest asteroid maybe that's something else we should work on so with the trailblazer module removed we appear to have enough oxygen on board we're gonna change our destination but first we're gonna call curie oh wait, wait we, we need to look inside i have not even thought about food there is no food on board uh so to deal with that we go straight to all and then we go excuse me can, can people please deliver some food Okay, we've got 22,000 calories waiting for her. I think I think that's good. Let's turn this on to crew now. Back to the outside. Uh, I want to change our destination. Uh, Blagolia. Oh, there's no rocket platform. Surely we've built one by now. Uh, wait, set, set Curie free first. Set Curie free first. We don't want her to be stuck there. Yeah, rocket platform. Oh, is it because the floor's missing? I, surely not. Surely not. Wait, it's the white one, not the green one. It's the white one. <laughs> I I was totally paying attention. Okay, so change our destination. There we go, Magolia. Of course we can get over there. We, we've built a whole platform specifically for returning rockets, and it will uh, harvest the heat from its engine. Uh, back to crew. It's amazing to see the cobalt ore rolling in, but also the polluted dirt and mud are two very, very underutilized uh, resources that we have. Let's begin the launch sequence here. Uh, we need to send the polluted dirt over to Irigal because it is the uh, food of choice for the poke shells, and that is where we are farming them. I wonder if we got anything like super hot from taking off from here. We, we, we could very well be doing that, but I think we're okay. Uh, of course, over on the star map here, we, we appear to have two rockets, but that's only because this one automatically cycles back and forth and is currently sat at Pyaxlin. Uh, and one entire cycle, one entire cycle for everyone to go just a little bit more insane on this rock. <laughs> 
I'm going to turn off Swan Levitt's priorities for building and digging. I feel like at the moment it's not doing her so well. She is definitely on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Yeah, go, go do some ranching and then when you've done all that, then you can get to the digging. Just, just go be chill. I don't need you binge eating all the food. I mean, we, we've got enough food. It's not, it's not a huge amount. It's not like my other places with like hundreds of thousands of calories. But I really would like you to be chill. It's the soggy feet. It really does you. So from what I can tell, most of Swan Levitt's troubles come from not having a good meal. I mean, I think we can all relate. Curious skull. Oh, hello, Curie. Welcome. All right, what a what a beautiful way for you to announce yourself. Are you are you going straight for for the build? Is that is that what you're doing right now? Let's have a look. You're going straight for a dig of some description. I do worry just a little bit that you're gonna actually let loose the uh, the vacuum. That that uh, I'll I'll explain what I mean when we get down there. If we uh, if we have a look, this little bit of vacuum right here is uh, kind of unstable at the moment. Uh, let, let's let's put a nine on those as well. Hopefully, Curie, yeah, coming in through this way. I decided that it's worth getting a bit of an AND gate on the go, and then we we can have like uh, multiple ways of controlling this because uh, at some point we're probably going to want to have battery control, be able to turn this on and off depending on how much battery life there is or how much uh, battery charge there is oh that's we, we need to, we need to keep that on Let, let's open that back up i don't i don't want this place just flashing to steam there may have been some steam flashing there there may have been some steam flashing Okay, I'll, I'll figure out the AND gate at some point. We, we definitely want to have this inverted, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when this is such and such a temperature, yeah. So the, the next thing I want to do is to get this bottle emptier set up with this wall underneath it and start putting all of this polluted water into, into this gap here and hopefully fill this back up before we start ripping out these tiles here. Uh, the, these could let a whole bunch of carbon dioxide in there and that is really nice not what I want. That that would be a, uh, a big big pain, a big waste of time. No, come come along and build this now. Poor Paku. You're, uh, ooh, ooh, are you going to escape in time? That that would be good if you could stay escape. That that would be pretty awesome. Oh, you didn't. You 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 chose your own fate, I'm afraid. You chose your own fate. Okay, just eating, even not even great food. It was just normal food. We've managed to get our morale up to normal there. Uh, we, we now are just about breaking even because Swan Levitt is sopping wet. But hopefully when she, uh, she dries out, she should begin to get a climb in stress. Well, no, a climb in happiness. I've turned up the priority of these uh, extra hydrogen generators over here because uh, Kiri's quite efficient. So we we don't want her coming through and uh, digging all of these too early. I'm also just going to hit this and hope. Oh, I was kind of hoping for anyone other than Swan Levitt, but uh, hopefully this will be a fairly nice and pleasant job. There is definitely some moistness to be uh, to be had down here. Can we? No, far far too much liquids on the floor. We need to, we need to pump just a little bit out of here or make a slightly less moist walk okay here we've got the perfect system being set up got her came down got some of the some of the water out via the pitcher pump dumped it in here and now hopefully we're going to fill this area up with polluted water enough that we don't have to worry so much about the carbon dioxide oh no there's polluted of course there's polluted oxygen it's polluted water hmm well i'm going to continue filling it up anyway and we'll um We'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. In fact, I might just pour water across the top here so that when we bust open the tile, water falls in. That, that could be a choice. I like that one. Well, there's no time like the present, says Curie, as she starts digging into everything. I, th I, th I think this is fine. I think we're going to be okay. We've got water here for now. 
Uh, she, she's diving away. Uh, I am asking for more and more and more water to just keep being spilt over everything. So hopefully that's going to work out for us. But there's still polluted oxygen down the end here that we have to worry about. But I'm, I'm hoping that this... Oh, oh that, that was kind of horrible. But it is a vacuum. I'm hoping that this system here is what's going to save us from... Um, like, the, the water will go down. Oh, no, look. There's polluted oxygen here now. Uh, I was kind of hoping the... Uh, the water would go down and then we could uh, displace the gases like that. Looks like we're going to have to be a little bit more oh, persistent than that. A little bit smarter. Okay, all the uh, rushing water has actually done us pretty well here. We've got a few issues. Okay, I just wanted that tile put back in place there. Uh, we've got a few issues that need to be solved, but actually, that's not too bad. And most of the issues I feel like can be solved just by dropping down... Uh, couple of airflow tiles there and there maybe or perhaps uh, swap the tiles out for something else and let the water start flowing again this this might all be viable strategies oh no oh no she's cracked she's cracked swan levitt has done it well we're, we're gonna we're gonna do something that we haven't done for a while we're gonna send her to the brig i mean there's plenty of food in there that she's gonna be able to eat but but still i mean hopefully uh, chowing down on all the barbecue that we've got in here will, uh, will will do her well. I don't know whether it's actually better to leave leave her eating the, the food outside. I do wonder if I can cheese this a little bit by going in and out. Is she is she coming up here? Is she going to be... Okay, so now that she's here, I'm going to set this to all. Is she... Do you reckon we can get her to move somewhere else? I, th I think we could just run her around until she she becomes a little bit more reasonable. Maybe she's just going to eat all the barbecue. Well, we're about to lose a lot of food because here goes Goddard also on a binge eat. Okay, that, that's fine. If, if we're going to do this, can, can we just get this done? Let, let, let's, see, let's see how this goes. If, if, we're, if everybody's going insane anyway, let, let's just let them go insane. All, all, all because of some water. They just they got a little bit wet and they're like, no, I don't like it. Which, I mean, fair, I don't, I don't like getting wet either, but I, I feel like there are better ways to deal with their problems. Okay, and now if I put these back, is that going to give me what I want? I think it is, actually. I think, I think we've solved the issue of the liquids. I don't know, we just shook it around a lot. That, that was literally the only way we did this. <laughs> Curie suddenly decided she's off for a sleep. Okay. All right, I mean, if, if that's what you need, then that's what you need. Who am I to stand in the way of your personal needs? Does mean it's going to take us a little bit longer to get all this done. I would really like this bottle emptier deconstructed. I'm then going to put down a, uh, a dropper, turn this around, and try and sweep all of this stuff up and get it out of here as quick as possible. Which will also make everybody mildly insane. Uh, there's going there's to be a lot of insanity going around, I think. Okay, here we go with the insanity. We go, hey, can you get all swept objects in here now, please? Every, everything's got to get out of here and put over here, where we will also sweep it later on. But for now, we just need to clear everything out of the way. All right, everybody hated that, particularly Curie. Curie did not have a good time with that. I think that's mostly down to Curie's bad stress. The morale plummeted through the floor. She's not had a chance to eat or enjoy a barbecue yet, so that, that's probably one of the big problems here. Uh, I don't know whether it is barbecue or cooked seafood we're going to be enjoying today. It turns out cooked seafood. And where will she be enjoying her food? I, I hope it's in this hall here. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so that puts the morale up to 12 need to work on that a little bit more she doesn't have the best bedroom perhaps we can make her a better bedroom here but uh I, I, this this should be a little bit better right it takes it from like a, a tankingly low morale of 25 percent per cycle to 13 so that's not too bad we could we can work with that Okay, now that we've got rid of the dropper, I'm going to just kind of make a small floor here uh, and put down a smart battery. It's definitely a thing that we need here because we've got another uh, and input to worry about. 
This might need to be an inverted signal. I'm just sat trying to think about how it plays out. But for now, I'm just going to run gold wiring down and across this way into the AND gate. That should hopefully give us a feedback of to how much power is in the system uh, as to whether we need to open or close the doors. Of course, if the battery is full, uh, uh, we don't want to be producing any more power. I've had an idea about how to change this into adults only. If we rip all this down and move the door up one, the poke shell spawn can't actually climb up and over, but this poke shell can. So maybe we can get it into this situation here uh, with a series of empty doors. I, I, I sure hope so. This is probably going to take a bit of bit of um, bit of a beating from this guy. In fact, we should probably just attack him, right? Like it, it'd be nice to have. Uh, let's cancel the attack. It would be very nice to have a touch subject on hand. <laughs> okay, this poke shell has been distracted by a pip. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, and now this one-way gate should force this pip down and into the cold, right? Yeah, okay, that, that's a, a, a great side effect there. That's amazing. Now, this should open and hopefully we get... Oh, put bit of meat but this poke shell should wander in over this way i believe it has the navigation to be able to we, we just need to wait and see if it actually happens or not oh here we go here we go here we go so he jumps in the critter sensor detects him the door opens and he gets pushed down he's not being pushed down one why why <laughs> this worked in testing there we go all right took forever but there we go and um we've confined a pip Okay, I, I suppose that's a thing. But more importantly, this poke shell should now be getting very cold. When he becomes cold enough, he will keel over and die. And then we'll have access to a whole bunch of malt. Okay, that's great. So we've got the, the small malts for when they grow up here. They jump over and then we get the big malts from that. Great. I think we're done. Okay, so we've got some power set up across there. They're both go, 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 so that's fine. But that's not what we want, is it? We want this to be, hey, if you're below, let's say two, 250, let's say 250. If you're below 250, we need you to open. So if you're above, we send the green signal. Okay, there we go. That closes the door. We're going to get a whole bunch of heat coming through. Through. I don't know whether that AND gate is actually doing the job I wanted it to. Maybe we just wanted to connect the two. Maybe we just needed an OR gate. Maybe, maybe that was all we needed. But it's doing pretty much the same job right now. Okay, so the, how hot have we got? We got two, 300 degree tile on this side. Why, why is this not picking up the heat faster i mean it's got it's going pretty fast it's it's degrees per second so i'm i'm sure it will get there pretty soon i almost feel tempted to bring that down just a little bit to let the uh, the the tiles dump some heat across and then bring it back because i don't i don't want these metal tiles to melt i in fact i don't think they can melt let's have a look 1400 Ooh, they could melt Chances are slim. Maybe cobalt wasn't the best choice there. Uh, titanium, uh, not titanium, tungsten or steel would obviously have been the best choices. Oh, we've got a little bit of steam going. It's up straight up to 300, 400 degrees. And this is producing an awful lot of power just from that. Uh, let's have a look. It's going over here. It's uh, it's being consumed faster than we can actually make it. Okay, that, that that's actually kind of good. Uh, this settled back down, so it closed. Okay, th this should be fine. Maybe we could have put the thermometer over this end and been happy with that as well. But this, this is good. This is good. I'm setting the temperature to 400 for a little bit here, just to just to really start bringing up the uh, the bulk temperature of all the liquids. We're only at 70 down this end, and uh, the, the fact that we just keep ticking up and down this end is a little unfortunate. Uh, talking of unfortunate, we seem to have lost some gold in there, and that that's going to get hot at some point. I'm I'm not about that. I'm not even sure how it happened. To be honest, I was playing around with the automation in the background here now any of them had the power to turn off the door that was kind of what we needed so if this sends out a signal it opens the door or if this says the battery is full it opens the door being a perfectly safe environment now as long as as long as we can get more of this water to turn to steam 
one thing I'm gonna do is just cut this pipe here. Let, let's let the uh, the turbine stop for a little bit and let the heat just spread through. Uh, putting more cold water in is probably one of the problems we've got here. Whilst everything warms up over on Blagonia, we're just checking in with the new guy, Kelvin. Seems to be doing a good job going around creating uh, glass where he can, making all sorts of um, manufactured materials. He was turning over the, the, the steel as well, and of course making the sand and such for the processes that we need. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Back on Blagonia, we're, we're on to our second tile now. That is good. I wonder whether this water is going to get hot enough. Obviously, I am a little bit worried that maybe we'll end up outgassing uh, some of the polluted uh, oxygen from the polluted water but there is so much steam in here that I actually I don't think that is going to happen somehow holding steady at 122 degrees okay that's that's very interesting I assume that's whilst everything else just warms up oh actually we're just we're losing mass down here we're, we're, we're not warming up we're just getting less cold water um, I suppose that's a method. A little bit worried about what happens if this gets down to zero grams before the steam spreads all the way over there. Then we could end up with a bit of polluted oxygen outgassing. That, that would be very bad. I don't know if it's significant that this blob of tungsten that's been sat in here for a little while now has just crossed 100 degrees centigrade or Celsius, however you wish to call that. Uh, I, I hope it means that the temperature is starting to spread through. I've noticed we've stopped losing water, but we still seem to be losing, yeah, quite a bit of polluted water, actually. We were at hundreds of kilograms, and we're now down to not... Where's all the steam going? Oh, whoa. This is 7,000, not 7 kilograms, 7,000 kilograms. That's, that's a lot of steam right there. <laughs> I think all at once, everything's going to just suddenly disappear. And then we're going to see the steam just roll out and this will fire up. And then I'll be like scrambling to turn on the, uh, the switch in time. I might bring this back down to 300 now. Uh, it's not going to make any difference because we haven't gone over 300 degrees. Uh, but it definitely did make a difference at the beginning just to stabilize everything out. Interesting. The tungsten has lost temperature again. Very interesting. I wonder how much time I've spent in oxygen not included just waiting for state changes to occur, for liquids to turn to steams and for... Ooh. Oh, that, that, that totally inverted. That was not the way I was expecting it to go. The temperature is dropping, though. Unexpected. Unexpected. This steam definitely getting warmer, but up here, the thermo sensor is covered by... I mean, it's water that is losing mass, but it's still only 88 degree water. Hmm. Oh, here we go. It's starting to push back. I like this. I like this a lot. The wa polluted water is like, no, no, you sh we shall not be conquered here. Uh, it's too too messy to look at all of them, unfortunately. But it looks like we're doing well. We've got 140 degree steam. Uh, this, the liquid vent is over pressure. Oh, that might be a problem. That might be a real problem. Hopefully, like, we're not creating any more mass, right? We've just managed to concentrate it all down the end. So when this all vaporizes out, poor Paku, poor Paku, when it all vaporizes out, it should end up being uh, enough, not too much uh, pressure. Yeah, okay, okay, this is, this is good. So we're, we're gonna connect these back up and we should now start getting steady source of power. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think I'd like to stop them both until we've reached maybe two, three hundred degrees. Maybe we should have put a temperature sensor under here to uh, to regulate at what temperature these fire up. I wonder if we could corner build a temperature sensor into there. If we like take this one out and maybe the battery as well, and put some. Uh, some some ladders over the top that that might be the way to get in there and do that i sure do hope so uh we're, we're, go we're gonna have to figure something out so somehow i can build the wire but not the sensor itself that is unfortunate okay uh, i i guess there are other ways of trying to get in there ways that are going to require a save 
Okay, after going through all the liquids, it turns out we've only got access to brine, which is not ideal. It's not ideal. Okay, so Kiri comes along, drops some brine. Some brine has been dropped. This insulated tile needs to go at the super highest priority. We've got the tiniest amount of brine on there that I can't see the temperature of brine. It's going down. Okay, that, that's good. Uh, and now we just need this thermosensor made. Curie is on it. We should definitely have made it of material that was closer to hand, but okay. Uh, let's carry on making sure that the brine is 37 point. It's still going down in temperature. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. Oh, we just dropped a little more. Let's turn to regular water in there. There's steam going everywhere, but I think we're okay. Let's turn that off. That's that's really not what we want. But this thermo sensor very much is. Where is Curie? And let, let's get this going. Let's go, go, go if we can. Uh, I know that the, the problems you don't like. Ah, uh, that it, it's gone. It's gone. It's too late. It's too late. Come on, let's get these finished. Cur Curie can do this. I, be I believe in her. We're, we're, we're losing un unholy amounts of steam everywhere. This is why I saved it. Oh, we, it could have been there. It could have been. If we'd built it out of closer materials, it probably would have been fine. Why are you dropping polluted water there? There's there's no polluted water to drop. Okay, but th this should be this should actually work out for us. Oh, okay. That we we've had red. No, turn, turn the red alert off. We we've had we've had worse times. We've had better times. I think. This will work out for us. We're gonna end up with a lot of lot of water everywhere though. Okay, well it's a big steaming mess, but it did get us what we what we needed to achieve, and that that is actually beyond my expectations. So I'm I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this actually went well. <laughs> Be under no illusion, even though the steam has left this place, it is still blisteringly hot down here. 80 degrees, Curie is not having uh, the greatest of time, but not actively dying. Oh, there, there we go. Actively dying now. Actively dying. Should probably try and get her out of here, but we just have a few more builds to be done, and hopefully they can get done. Oh, I, I would prefer it if you didn't get in the water. The water is a little bit more conductive than the air around her. Uh, let's, let's just ask her to move. Let's let's move her up there and see if that would work. I, I feel like we're probably still yeah we're we're still in danger. Let let's move Curie up to one of the the few cots that we've built around here. Yes, that's right, triage cots. We've built a couple now. <laughs> Whilst waiting for Curie to heal up, I've noticed we've had a little bit of a carbon dioxide issue over here. So I've put in a second carbon skimmer and now I'm just figuring out the piping in the background to make sure that we don't run out of space here. But this, this shouldn't be a problem that's difficult to fix. We, we just need to up our scrubbing rate. How did all this sulfur get here? I can only assume someone... Oh man, it's, it's all out here as well. I can only assume someone got too hot, maybe dropped some some sulfur in the magma. We definitely need to start sealing this area up. Like at some point, this is... A, ooh, ooh, this across here is a build that needs to happen. And then likewise, this across the bottom also needs to happen. Am I going to leave this here for the people just to work on? I don't know, especially with all this sulfur now just floating around. <laughs> if you're not watching an asteroid for five seconds, thing, things just go very wrong. Okay, I think we've got all the systems in place here, apart from the autosave, obviously. Thank you, game. I had totally forgotten that we obviously needed to autosave. Uh, uh, this should now be up and running. This this is all very good. It will keep, uh, keep the door closed up until the point the battery thinks it's full. If we bring this down, we'll meet the point where the battery thinks it's full and it would open the door, but we're, we're not full enough for that to happen yet, so of course we need the door to close close again the power is climbing though so we we should actually watch it turn off at some point or in the morning everybody's power needs turn back on again pretty high is this are we going to be able to keep this going are we going to be able to keep the temperature in here uh, a stable temperature we're at 213 for the moment it looks like it might be holding in fact it's just kind of gone up a little bit if only we could get more power out of it 
some sulfur definitely just got dropped here at the end of the day. Okay, yeah, that, so that makes this pathway even more important. Okay, we finally should be able to get a full demonstration of this system here. If I push those wire, uh, those pipes like to this, we can now start sending a little bit of liquid down to uh, chill down the steam turbines. Of course, the steam turbines were going to get warm. The gases that they were sat in were close to their maximum operating temperature, and then any time they did some work, I mean, excess work gets converted into heat and boom what do you know it was way over temperature but now literally just the first couple of blobs of liquid come through and the steam turbines are fully operational i wonder how warm this first blob is going to get it's it's going to get rather warm rather warm we have of course got ourselves a little bit of a bridge down here to fill in the gap and i would like to make sure that we take that away relatively soon i mean we have got a lot of gaps in the in the water line at the moment so i don't think we have to be that vigilant with these steam turbines now picking up the slack of the nightly lulls when we can't use the uh, the solar panels, we should be able to keep our Radbolt generators turning and indeed the interplanetary payloads flying. This is exactly what it was all about, was just making sure that we could get materials from one place to another. And now we should be sending a whole bunch of gold over to Irigao. I wonder if we've received any yet. Probably not. We've only just got... Uh, we have. We've received two, pa two packets already. That, look, there they are. Beautiful. Oh, one gold, one glass. Nice. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we've managed to get our carbon dioxide under control and indeed get the power of geothermal energy on our side. I will see you guys next time when we're going to figure out what, why, just, just why, and then hopefully put down a whole bunch of tiles here. What is Rutherford doing around here now? Ranching supply. I suppose that's fine, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.